Hey, welcome back to the Mod Shop. I said over the winter time I was going to get a chance to change that master cylinder in the 63 Impala from a single line to a double line. And I've had the opportunity to get out here for a few days and I have changed the main brake line all the way to the back of the car. And I'm going to continue the line on today and bring it up to the master cylinder, change the master cylinder and, well, hey, see if it works. Get back to you in a second. Okay, so here's what I did. I brought a second line. You can see the newer line on the top that goes across the junction block. I brought it from the back of the car and I blocked the one line that goes to the back. This is on the passenger side. I brought that line over, followed along the existing line, went under the front of the motor, and I have got it over to the other side. I'll show you in a second. Okay, so here's where I got the line to. So it's just above the motor mount on the driver's side of the car, and I'm gonna continue it on following the same route as the existing brake line and bring it up to over here. And I'm gonna get rid of that master cylinder and run a second line. So the master cylinder that I used in this situation was from a 67 Impala drum brakes front and rear. So it doesn't have a proportioning valve, seems to be the one to use. So hopefully I'm gonna be able to figure it out and I might have to do a couple of adapters on the actual master cylinder on the side. Right there to adapt it from the size I need to the size I got. Anyways, I brought a 3 16 line all the way up is where I'm going to go to. So we'll bring you back to it in a minute. So two hours after starting this project, I am pretty much finished. I had my kids help me bleed the brakes and uh, it's as good as it needs to be for right now. I'm going to do a couple of changes in the near future. I had to do, as I was telling you, some adapting. And this fitting right here, I couldn't get the right fitting in my town. I kind of live in a small town and that's the best I could do. So adapter to adapter to the existing line. But I did do a little bit of research online and you can buy these lines with a different size. One end to this end. So I'm going to probably change that and just put an actual solid line in all the way through and be done with that. But that one is adapted and that's the way that one's going to stay. So I did feed my line down and kind of try to get it tucked in there as nicely as I possibly could. And so you can sort of see where I connected it down in here. Down there. So I connected it there above the motor mount and then roll it up to there. So not a bad project all in all. It did bolt in pretty easy. Um, adapting, that was the biggest thing. I wasn't really prepared as far as the adapting went. I wasn't thinking about some of the different sizes that I might have needed when I was doing it. But anyways, either way, it is done and it is drivable and good right now. I will fix it at a later date. Anyways, but uh, for the time being, it's coming along. I'm pretty happy with that. So that was one of my last projects on this car for the year. And other than that, I think I'm gonna insure it here right away and take it out for a drive. And I'll take you guys along for a ride.